Hello, I'm a VX Toy Cat, and welcome back to another MathCraft video. These are videos I occasionally make on my channel where I go really in depth into the maths of a particular Minecraft problem. So, ever since banners came to console about a week ago for the first time, lots of people have been asking me non stop as to exactly how many different banner combinations there are in the game. Because when you look at the number of different banners you can make, they're all so different and they unlock so much creativity. But how many different combinations are humanly possible? And although the answer to that question is very fun, it's a massive number 809 quadrillion, in case you're curious, I figured rather than just leaving it at that, because that's easily found on the Minecraft wiki, why don't we go more in depth into how long it would take you if you wanted to make each of those 809 quadrillion banners in survival. So yeah, here's some fun maths to do of how long it would take you, how you'd even do it, uh, that you might just enjoy. Hopefully you do all like the video. If you do, like it, let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do like the sort of stuff and uh, indeed help support the thing. With that said, let's get straight into it. So let's start by going over that 809 quadrillion number again. That's right, I did say quadrillion, I didn't misspeak. And the reason it's 809 quadrillion banners, just so we can cover that so you know that the rest of the maps is uh, solitaire, basically it's because there is 16 base colors of banner so you start with even orange banner and then add stuff to it or a red banner or a pink etc and then once you start adding stuff to the banners there's 38 different patterns you can add so if we go in here you can see there's 38 patterns regardless of your platform as you can see 38 different things you can do and those 38 different patterns you have each come in 16 patterns so if you multiply 38 by 16 that gives you 608 unique different layers you can add at any one time and you can have up to, you can have up to six of these on a banner at one time if you mod you can add 16 technically but it's mostly six and it's meant to be six you can have six different uh, you know uh, patterns of six different anything from these 608 combinations. So that sounds kind of crazy, but the easy maths behind this is 608 plus 608 squared plus 608 cubed plus 608 to the power of four plus 608 to the power of five plus 608 to the power of six. And then you can easily see how that gets to 809 quadrillion. So bear in mind that 809 quadrillion figure, it's a bit more, it's got like some trillions on the end, but you know, let's just round to an 809 quadrillion. Uh, this 809 quadrillion figure actually includes some banners, which will be entirely just blank, uh, you know, entirely the same color, entirely stuff like that. There are some duplicates in there, but you'd have to craft them all and go through them all to find out which ones are and which ones aren't, which is why we'll use the figure of 809 quadrillion for today's video. So yeah, 809 quadrillion unique banners, uh, you know, unique item of banners, pretty crazy number, but it gets crazier when you try to work out how you would even go about making them. Because if you're like, okay, you know, I hear there's that many banners, my life goal from this day onwards is to make that many. So how do I do it, Toy Cat? Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is get all of the dyes and all of the wool you need for each of that. And let's just start with one of the lowly things you need, the dyes, right? So yeah, to make 809 quadrillion banners, uh, presumably you're going to need a about 50 million, uh, you know, of each die because you know there's 16 different colors of die, so you want to have about 50 million. Except you need more than 50 million, uh, sorry, 50 quadrillion of each die because you're going to need uh, 50 quadrillion times, let's say two. Because bear in mind when you look at the banner combinations like here, so you see that some require five, four, five, three, three, etc. Let's just say two is the average because there's a lot of more than threes and twos and stuff. But let's just say two because it makes the nice, convenient figure of 100 quadrillion. So again, that's a lowball figure, but you're going to need at least 100 quadrillion of each die to make each of these banners. So how do you get 100 quadrillion of each die? So let's assume you have some crazy farm for rose reds and some crazy farm for, I don't know, beetroot to make that and stuff like that. Let's just say, yeah, you've got 100 quadrillion stuff, but how do you store it until you need it? Because obviously the Minecraft inventory can't quite store 100 quadrillion items. <laughs> Fun fact, by the way. Uh, so how exactly do you, uh, you know, make that work into something a bit more palatable? Well, what you need to do is you need to store that in chests. So chests, if you don't know, how, well, you do probably know, have 27 slots in them if they're a single chest, and those uh, 27 slots can store 64 red die. So again, we'll say red die for now. So yeah, if you were to do that for each of these things and store it in entirely their own chest, you would have, uh, it's a massive number that's gonna be on screen right now. It's like 289 trillion. It's 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 so big that I can't even tell where the decimals end. It's that many chests on screen right now. A very, very big number. And to put that even crazy in perspective, if you had side by side trap chests next to regular chests, next to trap chests, and just a giant cube, that cube would be 665 blocks wide, 664 blocks uh, you know deep, and 256 uh, blocks tall. So bear in mind, if you're, if you're doing this in Minecraft console, that is the majority of your entire console world filled with chests. And bear in mind, those middle chests are going to be hard to access because it's just a giant blob, but this is the most efficient way to do it, taking up an entire Minecraft Xbox 360 world. So yeah, pretty crazy stuff already, and you need to do that for each of the dies, and that's using lowball numbers. That's assuming, you know, like there's some crazy world where we just round down a little bit, but yeah, that's that's 665 by 664 by 256 of just non-stop chests filled with red dies. So yeah, they need to do that for the blue die, then you need to do that for the yellow die, etc, etc. And then you even need to do it for the crazy stuff like vines. And my favorite thing that you need to fill, you know, that many chests with, again, big number on screen right now, is you need to fill that many chests with enchanted golden apples. So yeah, this involves getting literally millions upon billions of enchanted golden apples, because lots of those combinations are going to involve those. So yeah, let's just say you've got a really efficient gold farm, a really efficient squid farm, a really efficient beetroot farm, all the farms you need to get all of the walls, all of the dyes, etc. Let's just say you've got them all right now then. Okay, well, that's 
that's pretty good of you. Well done. You're ready to start the first little process in making those 809 quadrillion banners and doing it as, you know, and doing it pretty efficiently. So now let's work out how long it will take you to make all of them. So let's just assume that you're, you know, if you've gone through that much effort, you have that many giant chest spaces. Again, trying to picture this in the world, that each of these, like, individual chest blobs would be pretty much all of the way that way and that way, like covering the entirety of the world. That's how big this thing would be. But yeah, so let's just assume that you've somehow worked that out again. You, you're, you're clearly doing well if you have this much stuff or you've clearly modded the game some way. But then you're like, okay, resources sorted. What about actually making the banners? How long would it take me? So let's just assume for this example that you're gonna, you somehow know some really smart uh, formula to ignore 99.9% .9 of the banners. So yeah, you know that they're gonna be duplicates or they're gonna make, uh, you know, boring uh, default banners. Because fun fact, if you add like, um, so let's go like this. You can actually make banners which look nothing like, uh, which look exactly like something else. Because if we go, you know, black there, and then we go black there, we've just made a black banner, let's say. Or except we need to cover something else. But you still see the point, eventually you can make a black banner, and that's not very interesting. So let's say you want to exclude all the duplicates, and that's 99.9% .9 of banners. Again, a bit of an overshot, but let's say you're really smart, you know how to do that. That means that what you're going to need to be able to make is 809 trillion separate banners. So, yeah, good job. You got the quadrillions into trillions. How long would it take you if you wanted to make each of those banners? So let's say that you could do one per second. So, I Obviously, at first, it's going to be really, really slow because you've got to be like, okay, go to yellow, then do this, and then that, and then that. And let, let, let's say, you know, it takes you a few seconds at first, but after a while, you get really good, and you can do one of these per second. So you make a banner, and then you're like, oh, boom, let's go make another one. Then you're like, there, and then you're, you're doing it really fast because you, you learn the, the stuff really quickly, and then there we go. There's another banner. Let's say you were doing that really quickly just to make every banner humanly possible because you want to see the really good ones, and you're just going to make them all to do that. Well, then what you're going to be able to do if you can do one per second, which is insanely fast, regardless of which crafting system you'll use, that is well beyond the realm of possibilities, but let's just say you're really good at that, because, you know, you've done all this stuff so far. Even if you do it at one a second with 809 trillion uh, separate banners, the number of days it's going to take you is this number right here. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is uh, 9 trillion days um, of uh, effort. No, yeah, no, sorry, that's 9 billion days, uh, 37, 370 million, six, uh, and 65,000, and 9 days if you want to do this. And that's still, like, incomprehensible. How long does that even take? Well, then, if you want to put that into uh, years, that's going to be uh, 2.56, no, that's 25.671 million 410, and then 410 years. And if you put that into centuries, which is roughly a human lifetime, it's going to take you 256,714 very long human lifetimes to go through all of these banners. And again, that's a really, really long time. I don't know if I need to tell you. That means you literally need to have like, if, if you started with your life and then you, you know, had your children do it and then you made those two children make two more children and so on and so forth, it would take you several hundred generations to go all the way down the line before this entire thing was complete. Or if you do this with just your life alone, it would take you literally hundreds, uh, it would take you millions of years to get this entire thing done. And that's why making every single banner in Minecraft isn't possible. But just in case you are like, okay, I'm going to commit myself right now to, you know, putting my entire lifetime in this and my kids' lifetimes and their kids and their kids, etc. Let's just say you're some Somehow doing that. By the way, that's 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 saying there's no time for sleeping. Too, but let's just say that somehow all you're deciding to do. Well, then you're gonna run across this problem of storing them and accessing them all because you're gonna need to build another chest like giant cube. You're gonna build several of those, and to have each of those banners be in some easily sortable way, you're gonna need to have like a lot of time spent on those chests. So let's just say you want to be more efficient than that. Every single time you make a banner, you're going to have to burn it anyway, which is why I think the ultimate irony, or not irony, the, the ultimate like uh, brilliant thing here is, is that even if you did want to do this, the only ways that make it possible are by burning the banners you then create, which kind of makes a little bit of a pointless cycle. So yeah, how many banner combinations are there in Minecraft? There is 809 quadrillion of them. Uh, what is the app practical use of having 809 quadrillion banners? Um, it means that you can make some pretty pokeballs and some sky blocks and some cats and stuff. But the reality is, is that honestly, um, if you, if you want to try and attempt to make them all, don't do it. Just you know, try and make the ones that are good. I, I think we all knew that, but now we know beyond all doubt because you're gonna need you know so many chests more than you could ever even imagine it being in a cube. You're gonna need so much more time than you could ever humanly spend, even if you were like a superhuman. And uh, I, I I'm sure I'm sure you all knew that already, but. Now you know, don't do it. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you did all enjoy it. Hopefully you learned something along the way. If you liked it, like the video and let me know. Share if you really liked it because both those things support the channel and get the videos out there. Um, and I'll subscribe you new around here because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.